you have played a total of 352 matches in your whole career mm -hmm. so how can you differentiate your first match and your last match yeah. that's a question well, everyone is going to ask yeah well the first game i ever played was alec ferguson put me in the first team at aberdeen i was 17 years old I was... we are here at uh, the bmc ground and these are the like the superstars of real kashmir so what was it like when you qualified for the high league it was it was something that was very special and um, it was totally unexpected like every team they go into a competition looking to win it if they hopes to win it but you know i don't think we really fully expected to win it um, and when we did it um, it was a fantastic achievement at the time but afterwards it wasn't until a few days later we actually realized the magnitude of how how big it actually was to, to get into the i league so like uh, there was a, the, there was a match you played uh, it was a 3-2 victory the last match after that you guys qualified for that and also how does it feel like in kashmir how is the like how is the vibe that this team is playing for i league such yeah, a big well, thing i think no one really knew too much about us even in kashmir yeah. when we played in the i league too um, and you know it's taken a little bit of getting used to for everybody you know myself the players the the staff the ownership and, and the, the supporters um, because no one's ever had professional football real top level professional football right. in, in kashmir so it's all new it's just excitement um, and a lot of people don't know how to deal with it and um, supporters are so passionate about the, the whole thing um, and, and i think at the start the supporters came to watch churchill brothers mohan Bagan, right. and now right. They've actually come to support their home team because, uh, as I say, there was probably only a thousand people knew we existed, and now we're getting over twenty thousand at games, which is something special. So the real Kashmir, the inception was in two thousand sixteen, mm -hmm. and by the end of two thousand, like in the by in two years, you guys qualified for I League. So, how is the technical staff helping in this, and how are the players all together? How's the dressing room? Uh, it's just it's it's togetherness and. Uh, the reason we won the I League Two and got promoted was just that it was a good group of, of players together. Yeah, they were talented, but most teams are talented anyway. It right. was just the togetherness, the team spirit that really urged each other on. And I think there was a lot of players, particularly some of the local players, that didn't play too much, um, and they really, you know, spurred the spurred the group on. It was as I'm saying, it was a whole team effort. The staff, everybody got behind it, um, and and I think now. You know, everyone's enjoying it. Obviously, right. we've managed to get a few points on the board, so everyone's enjoying it, and um, the sort of pressure's off a little bit. Um, but you know, it's just—it's a fantastic experience for everyone, and um, particularly for the, the Kashmiri support. You know, right. they're—you know—they're coming out in numbers to watch us. They're proud of their team, and um, it's just up to us to make sure that we, we be as successful as we can. So it's—it's it's big respect in the valley, right? The first team in the valley to get into the high league. Okay. So also, th there's a big thing that. In the media, we all heard that, and it is that Adidas is sponsoring your kit. How did that feel? That um, no, it, it in was two good. years' time. Yeah, but you know, I think it all comes with um, obviously where we're located. Um, it's, it's been a bit of a fairy tale story. Right. You know, as you say, two years and suddenly you're in the top league, and you know we get a lot, a lot of recognition all over the world. We get a lot of um, you know interviews from different countries just because it's such a special story, and it's probably something that's. Um, never ever been achieved in, in world football, let alone you know India. I think the whole world. I don't think there's been a story like right. this. Right, Every, everywhere um, people everywhere. are talking about. And, and I think obviously Adidas must have yeah. seen it as a good story. And um, they're always. I've been involved with Adidas before at other clubs, and, and they all, you know, they do look for the top teams. And I'm not saying with a top team, but I think it's a top story, and okay. it's, a, it's a it's a great opportunity for them. But you know, for us, it's. It's almost like a bit of a dream, you know, the only club in India with Adidas. And how do you as players feel that you guys are doing so, so good in the I-League? It's the top league in India, it's the I-League. So how do you guys feel? See, as a player I can say, see, it's all about the club, it's all about the management, it's all about the coach, the, the staff. And the important thing is, like, the coach is... Most of the important thing is coach, coach fellowship, our fellowship is coach is like different compared to other coaches. Right. So we are doing just the coach wants and team wants what because of 
success behind of success it's coach philosophy so we are all uh, as a player we are giving 100% uh, in the training ground yeah, in the, in every day yes every day every training session and implementing the ground so hopefully we are in the top yes. that is the main vision okay so you guys had your pre season in scotland uh, four matches you played how did that go well that was about um, 18 months ago we, we yeah, did yeah. that so it was a different team <laughs> um, but the reason we did it was to give the Kashmiri players some exposure because the way it works in Kashmir local league it's only Kashmiris can play there's no players from other states and no um, foreign players so it's difficult for the players to get exposed against different um, teams um, so we thought it would be a good idea to go to Scotland and then it certainly opened a few eyes yeah. you know, we played four games in five days and we lost the first two quite heavily um, against professional teams. Um, but, but as the games went on, we played against a team called Partick Thistle. Okay. And they, the, they were in the top league at the time. Um, and we ended up drawing two each with them. Two each, yeah. Right. And that was our fourth game in five days, which so it says a lot. Fatigueness played a part in that game? Yeah, no, well, I mean, I, I think that the players picked it up quick. They couldn't deal with the movement that the, the, the Scottish players were were giving them um, but I think as I say they're quick learners but the fourth game in five days against a team that hadn't played for you know a few days right. um, it was just a, it was a great achievement uh, we're two nothing down and we drew two each with them so um, it, it, that was the start and I think it opened the players eyes as to what's actually out there so also the youth team went to Dortmund to practice at the place where the Dortmund teams actually yeah, yeah. practice. So, how did that impact the youth of Real Kashmir? No, it, it's good. I think on top of the success that we've had, um, it's important not to forget about the youth because in, in years to come, you know, like every club, you'd, you'd want the youth to, um, you know, end up, you know, feeding to graduate the, the in the senior team to feed the, the to sort of feed the first team, but. You know, you've got to give them the experience to know, you've got to show them the professionalism, you know, because as much as professional as we are, when you go to likes of Dortmund and, you know, overseas, that's the real sort of professionalism and it rubs off on them at a young age and then we've tried to emulate that in the first team as well. All right. So, like, uh, you played for Scotland, right? So, how was that experience as a player and how are you... you as a player, you were a left-back as far yes. as I know. So, how are you... Putting your experience as a manager, you are like very experienced. So, how are you handling the players, the young players, the experienced players? No, I, th I think you've got to you've got to treat them the way that you'd like to be treated. I've right. been fortunate to have worked with good managers, bad managers, um, but I think you've got to have a group of players that, that want to play and feel comfortable and not no fear of making mistakes. And that goes from the seniors to the, the youths as well. Okay. You know, youths are going to make mistakes. Seniors are going to make mistakes. I played at a, a good level, and and I know that you know even the best players in the world make mistakes. Right. Um, Everyone. And obviously, the, the lower the levels you go, there's more mistakes. But the players have got to be comfortable. They've got to know that they can come and talk to me. Uh, but but my experience, because I've played, uh, uh, there's a lot of managers out there that have never never played, and yeah, they've been successful. But I think the actual experience, because I can. You know, certain things that are similar that happen here, and I can use the experience to sort of not fix a problem, but adjust things, talk to players. Okay. Particularly when players are down, um, I think that's uh, the secret <coughs> of, of of my experience. Is that I, I was I was at a club before where you know the manager was very Phoenix very FC. yeah no I, I, when I was when I was playing I was at Leeds okay, United, Leeds United and right. the manager was very negative at the time and, and it had a, an, a, an effect on me. Um, yet, when I was at Rangers, I had a positive manager, Walter Smith, and he brought the best out in me. So it's all about finding methods to bring the best out of players, because some like to get a kick up the backside, yeah. some need an arm around them, um, some need to be told they're doing well, and the confidence and reminding how good they are. Or if somebody's lost their way, you've got to try and find a way to get them back to where they were. So it's just, it just goes down to experience. It's not even so much coaching. You can do all the coaching badges and certificates you want, but it's just the... Uh, it's more of man management it's now. It's about like tactics. connection with the players. Yeah, and, and then we've got a group of players that are, you know, they work hard off yeah. the ball, and, and I think that's important. And I think that's why in the two leagues we've played and we've had some success. That's good. And you have played a total of 352 matches in your whole career. Mm -hmm. So, how can you differentiate your first match and your last match? Um, that's a question well, everyone is going to ask. Yeah, well, the first game I ever played was Alec Ferguson. 
put me in the first team at Aberdeen. I was 17 years old, I was very young. But he was very smart in what he did. He didn't tell me until an hour before the game that I was yeah. going to play. Um, and I think if he told me the day before, I would have been, you know, I wouldn't have slept and I'd been nervous. I didn't have time to think and I went and played. And, and after that, um, that was probably the only game in my career that I was nervous before a game. Um, and, and it was only for an hour. And it just shows you the, the management of Alec Ferguson. He, you know, he didn't want to put any pressure on me. He just says, OK, you're playing and that's it. So I didn't have time to think and I, and I played well. Um, and, and the last one I, I played, I can't remember what it was, I think it was, it was, um, it was actually I hurt my knee um, playing okay. against Leicester City against, in the old stadium, Filbert Street, um, and obviously it was sad, you know, at the time I got injured, I went for a header, came down and my knee, I had a problem with my knee anyway and it, it sort of gave way, um, and, and it wasn't, and I didn't even know at the time that that would be my last, you know, competitive yeah, game at a high, high level, but it's always dis disappointing because you never, you always think you're prepared when you can't play anymore, but you never, you're never totally prepared. And you know, as as a few days went on, I knew that that was it. My career was over. So, as players, you had your first games as well. So your experience, your first ever game, first ever professional game at high level, how was it? <coughs> Definitely, it was, it was a great. Whatever coach said, when I played first match in my life. Against East Bengal, okay. Stadium. I was in, also in this stadium, yes. right? So I was also nervous, but uh, after first touch of the ball, yeah. I'm getting confidence, and slow, slowly, slowly, I get confidence, and after that, I played well. Okay. And what about you? How was your first match? Yeah, uh, for me, very exciting <coughs> moment at that time. So, I first starting my career from United Sikkim FC in Sikkim. Okay. I played uh, against. Sporting club de Goa in Goa, the away match. Uh, that day, our coach was coach come player, the Bai Chumbutia, the right, legend. Right, yes, yeah. the Indian legend. Yeah, he told me that suddenly he told me that you are going to start tomorrow match at, at, at the night meeting. So I was very excited and little bit nervous was there because I, I was young. I'm yeah. at that time I was 16, 17 years old. Okay. So after that, then. I start. I start every day and starting level, and that that after that I feel very comfortable in matches. You know. Okay. So there's a there's something in India like football is growing, like in a rapid pace in India. Yeah. So and th there are a few things that many people don't know about the I League. In a, in the depth we know about Premier League, Bundesliga, La Liga. So as you. As managers, how do you think that we can develop as a media, as normal people? How can we engage the fans more and like tell them that I League is like really, really, really good and people should support? Well, I, th their I think teams. I think social media now. When I was right. growing up, there was no social media. That's an easy way to get it out. But you just got to promote. I think it's it's. I've been this the first time in this I League for me, and um, I, for me, I, I think it's. It, it's the most exciting league in this country. Right. Um, you know, there's some leagues throughout the world that are very, you know, bland and you know, not very exciting. But you know, I, I love I love watching the games, and I think as as much exposure um, of the games and players, you know, because there's top level players here as well. Um, not only the foreign, all the Indian players as well. Um, you know, obviously the ISLs, um, you know, taking a lot of those players right. away. Um, but, but they're still very, very good leagues, and, and, and I think they're as good as any league throughout the world. And it's just, it's like everything else, it's exposure that's trying to find a way to, to make them exciting. And, but I think if you can stream some of the games out with India, it will certainly um, you know, raise some eyebrows and people will watch it. And I know just from the success that, that we've had as a club, um, because it's such a good story, I think that's helped the I League because right. a lot of people throughout the world we get um, people from Holland and Germany and Scotland and America looking for jerseys and how can we watch games. Right. So there's definitely interest there. It's just getting it done. It's, hard, it's difficult. Okay. So as you have Indian players in your team, so. Do you think the youth of your team or the current players can make it to the national team? No, there's definitely um, there's definitely opportunities for everyone. But I think I think up until now, where we were based, um, you know, it's we've only been going what ten games when we're getting a lot of people our games on television. But up until then, you know, like I League Two, no one really saw the games. Yeah. We only had about you know 
a thousand people come to games, um, and and that's why we did the Scotland thing, we did the the Holland thing, uh, not Holland, the Germany thing, uh, was to give them e e exposure because, um, you know, Kashmir is a forgotten place yeah. as far as football is in, in Kashmir, um, and and you know I often just speaking about local players, but the players that play for our team. And you know now there's a chance of exposure right. for the players, and there's definitely players in Kashmir that play at Kashmir that you know in, in the future have definitely got a chance. So in the next, like in the coming year, you'll be the, playing the home matches at the Bakshi Stadium, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So how are you looking forward to it? It's it's good. I mean, I, I've I've trained the team last year, not the I League Two, but before that, um, and it was very very run down. But you could tell that. You know, it was a bit of a historic kind of place. And right. I've been told stories when it was full years ago that it was very an intimidating place for teams to come and play. Um, and and it's, it's funny because when the first gate, the team first started, right, and uh, the club first started, the home ground was Baxi Stadium, and the clubs never played one game at Baxi Stadium. Yeah, that, um, with the weather and I League Two in, in the both years, and and obviously now we're still at TRC. Um, but it, it could be. I mean, we've. At the moment, the stadium at TRC, we've got more people wanting to come than, than we can let in. And right. um, so, you know, hopefully it'll allow everybody to get in, because I think it's going to be a big stadium. I don't know how the capacity, if it's 25, 30,000, I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's like everything else, it's meant to be a fantastic place. You know, we, we played at Salt Lake here. Yeah. It's a fantastic stadium to play in. And, and I think it also won't be as big as that, but I think it'll be, you know, inside dressing rooms will be very similar. And it'll be a special place, not a track place. And to the come players and play. will be even happy yeah, to they'll, play Yeah, they'll there. feel like a, a million dollars, and, and that's all yeah. you can ask is to give them everything they need to go and perform, and, and they'll, feel, they'll feel great inside. So, as a player, how are you excited about the new stadium you'll be playing in the Bakshi Stadium? Before I didn't see the stadium, but I heard about that. Yeah. I'm really excited to see that. Okay, and you? Yeah, of course. As a player, everybody wants to play in the good stadium and good, good environment. Right. And as a coach said, we are very excited to see the, the new stadium in our coming, upcoming season. So hopefully, we'll get very good stadium like uh, Salt Lake. Yeah. So very professional. With time, definitely. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Definitely. So, so also, just ending this thing. Uh, just a message as real Kashmir to the fans. No, I, I think you know we thank them for everything. Uh, please come forward. They've done. Thank you. We thank them for our supporters for everything they've done, all the support they've given us, um, and you know it's up to us to to make sure we're a team to be proud of, and that the Kashmiris will come and watch and watch on television, and um, you know make make them proud, stay in the league, and so there's I League football for many years to come.